So Phil, tell me, what do we do tonight? Hey guys, uh, Tony here. This is uh, Phil. Phil and I work together on producing the record. In truth, he did most of the production, but he let me um, throw my thoughts in now and then. We're a couple of weeks away from releasing the record, and I've gotten a lot of questions about, hey, how do you even make a record? How does that work? And so uh, we thought we'd sit down and tell you about what we did. We started with a bunch of songs. The oldest song on this record is called The Brownstones, and I wrote it when I was 17. The most recent song is called Open the Door, which we finished kind of in the last stages of the recording process. We started by making a bunch of scratch tracks, so it's basically me just playing the song on my own, um, and then sat down together and started to dream about, okay, what are the other instruments on this record? What are they gonna sound like? So we started thinking about what are the drums gonna sound like? What are the bass? gonna sound like electric guitars, um, shakers. So that was kind of the beginning process. And then we just started recording instruments um, one at a time. Between the two of us, Phil and I played just about everything on the record. Phil especially did drums and electric guitars. I played acoustic guitars. Um, we each played a little bit of bass. And then once the tracks kind of were done, I would sing over them. We made our friend Johnny's record. Um, Phil produced our friend Brandon's record. Oh um, we made a worship record uh, for our church. And then this is the la this is the first one to start and also the last one to be completed. I think part of that was because one night we were working really late and um, we were tracking vocals and uh, I was really thirsty. Phil was really thirsty. No, let me just You I, tell the story. Why don't you tell Well, the story? I just wanted to add that. That I was incredibly thirsty and I had a bottle of water on the desk, which is a no no because right. you don't ever want to have open right. vessels right. of agua. On the desk. Right. So I'm in the vocal booth, and there's sort of a window in the vocal booth, but the door shuts, and so I'm kind of like isolated from Phil. I had set up a camera in the vocal booth to capture just some just some B-roll of us making the record. We're doing a take, and all of a sudden I hear Phil go, uh, oh no, <laughs> really loud through the door. And I look, and I see Phil frantically mopping up water from the desk and then take his laptop and shake it upside down and then <laughs> it was funny at first it was, I was funny like oh first. i'm such an idiot and then right like then it got really sad it got really sad when so then i grabbed the camera and put it up to the window and then watched as you're holding your laptop screen trying to dry it off and the screen just goes black and i remember that moment of like did you did you power that off and you're like no so that put us back at least a couple months but now we have this computer. Let me just, uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should probably get that That's out of there. That's not... After about a year and a half, the record was, was totally tracked. So, in other words, all the parts were recorded. Um, we sent the record to a guy in Nashville named Ainsley Grosser. I remember the first time we got the first track, Who Am I Supposed to Be, back. And um, we got it uh, sent back to us through email, and you pressed play, and it was like, whoa. So... Ainsley mixed the record, and it was a lot of phone calls back and forth. Hey, it sounds a little too much like this, or, man, I love what you did here. And then once that was done, um, we sent the record for mastering to a guy in L.A. named Eric. How do, you, how do you say Eric's last name? I've never met Eric. I've never met these yeah, people. Yeah, I've never personally met him either. Do you know how but, you say uh, his last name? It's B-O-U-L, anger, <laughs> bull anger, <laughs> We're bull. Eric bull anger. Bull anger. I think it's French. I think it's Boulanger. Boulanger. I don't think it's that either. Eric, we're really sorry. We sent the record to a guy named Eric. Uh, his name is Eric. And he mastered the record. I worked with a guy named Nate Gomez to do design work and photos and do all that part of the process. Um, and now it's done. So as I sit here in this chair, uh, it's being printed. And we're getting ready to play uh, some shows and play these songs live for you. As you can hear, it's been a really long process. Um, all the way from writing to recording to mixing to mastering to design to all of it and I can't wait for you to hear it and I hope that you really like it. So, um, Phil, you have anything else? No, just say echo. Echo, 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 echo. echo. Cool. No, I'm good now. Okay, great. So, um, that's it. That was the recording process and uh, hopefully this made some sense and uh, you liked learning about how we made this record. More importantly, we hope that you really, really liked the record and uh, we'll see you at some shows. See ya. Bye. Oh, that went well. That, I thought that went well. Well, I thought I'd already seen you for the last
last time. But now I hope that I. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So, Philly Pepper. Hello. What do we do today? We are doing vocals for a song. We need just to start over. Uh. So, Philly Pepper 1000, what do we do today? <laughs> Tony! Just say. Just say I, why don't you just call me by my name? My name is Phil. <laughs> do you want me to do the questions as well? Any final words? <laughs>